Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's pick a card reading, which is what do they want? What do they want? I've already had to restart the video because I forgot the title again. Normal. Okay, so welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. I hope you're doing great today. Don't forget with this reading, it is a, a snapshot. <clears throat> it hopefully will give you some accurate information, but if you'd like your own private reading, which obviously much more in depth, etc., please check the description box below. Um, do feel free to assign different questions to different groups or different groups to different people, whatever works for you. Use it however it resonates with you. On the topic of, res of it resonating, do remember that it's general, so it might not all resonate with you. Just take whatever does, leave what doesn't. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified of future uploads. Also, feel free to follow me on um, uh, Facebook or Instagram. You can also check out the website, ksabbott.com. Yep. So anyway, I hope you're doing great today and let's get on with today's reading. So what do they want? What do they want? Hi, group one. So what do they want? Let's have a look. We've got the tower. We've got the six of wands. We've got the fountain. We've got the wheel of fortune. This person wants divine intervention. Music, there could be a music connection here. Seek, this is the hermit. It could be um, a Virgo. But I, do you know, this person is, the hermit card is about going within, listening to the heart and soul. It's about uh, solitude. But it's interesting because this person has withdrawn. This person is withdrawn. They're in their own world. They've retreated into their own world. Um, you know, they are, um, they've maybe, they're maybe not communicating with you. There could be a music connection between you guys. Um, there could be a, a situation here as well where they're kind of like waiting for something else to happen. And that's what I feel because the listen to the music is like sort of la la la, you know, like just going along with life. I don't really think that this person is taking it so lightly, the situation. I don't. I think they're taking it quite seriously. I think it's more likely that the music is a personal connection for you guys with them about um, about the music, you know? So I don't really think that this is about, um, you know, the fact that they're not really that taking it that seriously. But I just think one or two of them maybe are not. But on the whole, I feel like the... Music is just a nod for you to show you that you've picked the right group and that you have a music connection of some sort um, or a similar interest or this is something that really binds you together or makes you feel connected. Um, this person is soul searching. What do they want? They want some sort of breakthrough. They want some sort of divine intervention. Look, the Six of Wands is the only minor arcana here. This is, on a practical level, this person wants to win. This person wants to win the battle. So I feel like this person really wants to kind of um, succeed, be um, successful within your situation. You know, so if you've been apart or something's gone wrong or they've said they want to move towards you but you're not sure, it's, for me, it looks like this person wants some sort of big breakthrough. This person wants a tower moment. They want divine intervention. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. Both of these cards are about the universe stepping in and doing something. This person could well be someone who's in a relationship already or in a situation and that they are hoping that something goes wrong, so to speak, so that they have a reason to exit. You know, that's how it feels to me because what do they want? The fountain is like higher awareness as well. So the, all these cards are kind of like higher awareness, but also the fountain is not doing anything, you know. Um, so I feel like uh, in my readings, it, it tends to mean that. So what I feel is that they want the universe to come along and do it for them. They want to, they want to be successful. So whatever you had kind of planned together or whatever you were working towards or whatever you felt was success in your situation that you're inquiring about, relationship, I assume, or connection, they want that too, but they don't want to do it. That's partly what the listen to music means as well. They're not necessarily taking it lightly, not at all, but they don't want to get involved. They want the universe to sort it out for them. They want some sort of chaos to come. They want something to be broken down. They want the illusion to be removed. They want the lie to be removed. The other point here is that if they've told you, oh, I don't care, or, I'm not interested, or 
I don't like you anymore or I love somebody else or whatever. This could be a lie. I'm not saying it is for sure, but it could be because they want an illusion to be removed. They want to get past the fight. They want to get past the difficulty. They want to be successful, uh, but they don't want to do anything about it. But they do want this higher awareness. They want things to go their way. They want luck. They want things to m move on for the better. They want to move towards something better with you. So that's what they want, but they don't want to do anything about it. Um, but they are digging deep. You know, they, I think they have done the, the deeper work to an extent because this is someone who is seeking, they're going within, they're listening to the heart and soul, but they're not actually wanting to do the work themselves. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you later, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> I never say that anymore. <laughs> I need to. Hi, group two. How are you doing? I was talking to myself in between there as normal. And um, so what do they want? So this is group two. What do they want? Six of cups, eight of co eight of coins, ten of coins, seven of cups, cups and coins. Drop it, heal. That's the star, by the way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. Okay, so what do they want? They want success, ten of coins and heal. This is opportunity, things working out. Finally, light at the end of the tunnel, a chance to heal the relationship, heal the situation. Um, probably at the last minute. But, you know, they do really want the whole package. Ten of coins is the whole package. It's the material, emotional um, wealth. You know, it's everything. So even though it's coins, it it's really represents someone at the end of their life. I know you guys aren't at the end of your life, but what I'm saying is it's a, it, it's the what it stands for. It, it It's uh, uh, somebody who has got to the point in their life where they, everything is in order. You know, they've got the family, they've got the money, they've got the uh, house, they've got the job, they've got the security, and they're emotionally happy. So this is a sort of everything energy. So what do they want? They want everything. They want everything but they're confused about how to get it. Seven of Cups. They want everything, but they're confused about how to get it. They um they want to return. So if they're away, if they've moved away or, you know, like they've uh, got no non-contact or you're not speaking to them at the minute or they're distant, they do want to come back. They want to let, if you've had some sort of argument or something, they do want to let it go, drop it. They do. They want to let go of baggage. They want to, they want to develop and move forward. So the Eight of Coins, if this person's got some, emotional baggage they do want to actually evolve um but it's taking them some time to work on themselves on their own to get this stuff sorted they're still confused they do want the whole situation that they do want to heal but they feel like they're a bit lost at the minute the heal card the star is a bit like you know there's hope in the future there's light at the end of the tunnel things can work out as you want even though it kind of seems like all is lost so it feels to me like it's possible for some of you that you're waiting for somebody who for a little while longer is going to seem somewhat confused. They could be trying to reconnect with their inner child, you know, like their true self. They could feel a bit lost, you know, because both these cards to me indicate together that they're trying to sort of reorient, reorient themselves and um, reconnect themselves. Um, the, ten, uh, the eight of coins tells me that they need to work on their own to really sort of perfect their situation and, and for me in this situation it's the emotional one you know because what they want is to be um is to heal the situation is to heal the relationship is to feel fulfilled and to get their wishes to come true you know to get their wishes to come true but in order to do that they need clarity of emotion um and at the minute they feel um a little bit confused a bit unsure about w which way to go and what to do and um, they need to be intuitive. They need to let go of some old baggage, you know, and that's what this eight of coins is about. It's they need to work on some things, you know, some of them, they've, you know, distanced themselves from you and therefore they need to come back into your life. And so they need to work on how they're going to do that. For some of you, um, it's that they need to reconnect with their inner self. They've kind of got a bit lost in life, but either, either way or whatever, you know, um, version of this it is this person what do they want they want the whole package and they do want to come back towards you they want to heal the situation they want to let go of the past they want to let go of the old stuff but they're confused about how to do it so what i would say is that this is what they want is it going to be successful i think there's a good chance it will be successful 
But what I mean is, remember this reading is about what they want. It's not about what they're going to achieve or do necessarily. It's what they want, okay? Loads of love, group two. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, loads of love. I'll see you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So what do they want? We've got two oracle cards here for um, confirmation. And interesting, the purple's really jumped out here. So this could be um, either, I mean, because of the colour, it's hard to say because it's both uh, versions of the purple. So this is higher higher energy. So uh, crown chakra, um, third eye chakra, ten of wands. What do they want? Ten of wands. They want the hierophant. They want the nine of cups. They want the king of swords. They want the two of wands, spread your um, wings, and, <laughs> spread your uh, wings, sorry, <laughs> and rise and shine. Okay, this what person wants another shot at the situation or they want things to improve. Rise and shine is about starting again. It's starting every day anew, starting every day with a positive attitude and the sense that miracles can happen. Today could be the day when things work out and just having an appreciation that every day is the new start. So this is a bit of a metaphor. They want to rise and shine. They want to start over. They want to start again. Um, they're carrying um, this burden or, or this heaviness around the situation. You know, I feel like they want to put this down. Yes, they're saying yes. They want, they want to put this heaviness down. There's been like a, a heaviness around the situation. You guys have maybe had like a painful situation or a difficult breakup or you have a difficult relationship or something. There's a desire to put the burden down or to put the things that are in the way down. Maybe you've got other situations going on maybe this person's got other responsibilities or you have the point is this person wants to let go of the burden they want to learn the hierophant uh, this is also a commitment to you they feel committed to you or they want to commit to you or they're very um th this person to me feels very responsible you know because ten of ones and the hierophant this is like sticking to the path and keeping going this is someone who's quite fixed could be quite traditional takes responsibility easily and feels very responsible, takes everything deadly seriously, you know, um, in their own way. Um, and so this person, what they want is, even though they've got all this responsibility, even though they feel all this heaviness, what they want is to move on from this. They want to, they, they're not necessarily putting this down. They're not, I feel like what they're saying is that this person is taking the whole thing so seriously and what they're taking you seriously. And that may be something nice to hear. I don't know. Depends on your circumstances, you know, but they, they take it seriously. And what they want is they want you to know that they're taking everything seriously. They want to be uh, committed to you or to take on the responsibility of you. Okay. So for some of you, they're saying, this person wants to take care of you. They want to look after you. Yeah, you know, the King of Swords. This is very responsible male energy. Yes, a little cool and cold in certain regards or certain understandings, but this is someone who's responsible, clear, determined, focused, intellectual, someone who uh, is clear on what they're doing. So this person is saying they mean business. They want to take care of you. They want to look after you um, or they want to be take this situation seriously. But also they do want happiness. Nine of Cups, they're looking for happiness. They want to start again. They want to be happy. They want to be in joy. They want to enjoy life. They want to feel the pleasure of the situation. The Two of Wands. So if this person has been a little bit reluctant to kind of open up or take a leap of faith or jump forwards, the Spread Your Wings, the Two of Wands, this person is wanting to sort of plan into the future. This person is going to make plans with you to think about moving forward, to think about starting again, to think about how you can create this situation. This person is wanting to create anew and they want to make the plans with you. Uh, they, they want to get things clear. They want to talk things through, get things sorted out. They want to say, yes, look, we want to be together. You know, you make me happy, I make you happy or whatever, you know, and let's let's get this sorted out. Let's... Let's make some plans. Let's get a, a committed path and then let's move down it. So I feel like this person is taking the situation seriously. So if they haven't been doing before, maybe this is a change. 
but this person wants to take it seriously. They want to be a bit, more, a bit more committed or a lot more committed, mostly. <clears throat> but some of you are saying no. They don't, they're not like looking for a long term relationship if you've just started dating or something. But they're looking for more commitment. They want to stick by the situation. They want to um, discuss how to move forwards. They want to get clear. They want to start f moving forwards. They want to turn over a new leaf. Some of them. The main thing is they want to plan this future with you. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys. Hi, group four. So what do they want? Five of coins. The star. Nine of swords. Nine of coins. The emperor. Give yourself the best. Refusing to see. This person, <laughs> this person wants to be left alone. Um, this person wants to give themselves the best. They, this person wants to do the best thing by themselves. And they feel like the best thing is for them to be on their own or to be left alone by you. Um, it doesn't mean that that is true. It's just this current moment, what do they want? They want to be left alone. The five of coins is about being out there on your own, left alone. It's interesting, this group, because of the nature of the cards. I mean, it, I feel like this person is possibly freaking out a little bit look they're refusing to see they don't want to see so what do they want they don't want to look at the situation they don't want to see they want to be left alone they want to be out there in the cold they want to uh, remove themselves from the situation they want to give themselves the best they're for me this feels like they're trying to protect themselves so give yourself the best means taking care of yourself so what do they want? They want to take care of themselves. Doesn't mean that you're bad for them. It could be the exact opposite. This could be self-sabotage. It could be that they're afraid of the situation. Who knows? It's going to be different for each one of you. And you know anyway. But this person does not want to see. They don't want to see. They want to be on their own. Interesting with the star. Because the star here is this energy of hope hope on the horizon light at the end of the tunnel it comes after the tower though so they, they're looking for light at the end of the tunnel but then don't want to see this person's in some sort of chaos or some sort of problem because look they want nine of swords that <laughs> no one wants the nine of swords you know the nine of swords is anxiety depression fear uh, you know, um, self-fulfilling prophecies of doom. So what they're saying here is that they're trying to show you that this person is actually hurting themselves by what they want. They so some of you were disappointed when I were very were very disappointed when I said, well, they want to be on their own. They don't want they want to protect themselves. But the thing is, what the guides are showing you with the nine of swords is what they want is to hurt themselves. So this isn't a good thing. What they want is not right for them or it's not good for them because what they're wanting to do or what they're doing is hurting themselves. Nine of coins, for me, at the moment in my readings, the nine of coins, the guides are bringing this through as a card of saying that someone's in the comfort zone. This person is hurting themselves because they don't want to move. The two of swords and the nine of coins, they don't want to look at their situation. They don't want to move out of their situation. They feel like that this is the best way to protect themselves. It's probably not true. But they're hoping that if they can just hold their position, hold their frame, don't, you know, keep going at what they're doing, that the, the light at the end of the tunnel will come. They're hoping if they don't look, it'll go away. Yeah. Um, you know, they, but interestingly, they want someone or something, this masculine energy to kick in and sort the situation out. Now, this could be that they're waiting for their own courage to come forward, or it could be that they're waiting for you to step forward and take action. Um, I'm not saying that you should. It's not. Remember, this is just 
what do they want? It's like their thoughts about the situation. It's not saying this is, is what's going to happen or what you should do. But what they want is for someone or something to come and take control of this situation because they feel afraid. They don't want to look at it. They don't want to do anything about it. They're trying to protect themselves. They're in protection mode. They're hoping that some miracle will occur that will sort this out. You know, that's how it, yes, they're saying yes to that. That's how it feels. It's like, well, maybe this star card will come in. Maybe this miracle will come and just sort all this out. You know, but it won't. They have to face it. They have to face up to the situation. They're trying to protect themselves, but, and they're hoping that some miracle will occur or someone will come in and just sweep it all away. Obviously, that's not going to happen. They're going to have to face up to it. But what they want at the minute is for someone else to come and source it out. Um, or they just want to protect themselves. And what they want is to do nothing, to shut down, to protect themselves and to hope that it will all magically get solved on its own. Um, but this is all just for the uh, purposes of protecting themselves. It's not about you. It's about them being afraid. Um, and of, of loss, of afraid of loss, of losing what they have. Loads of love, guys. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime. See you soon, guys. Mwah.